Hello. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me. I'm very happy to be here. So it's very simple. Uh, basically, I'm using some colors. I'm just putting some colors on it. But anyways, so that's what I do. I put some paint on the background. Just like that, very simple. And, um, you know, you, got, and, you know, usually I kind of have in mind something I'm going to do. But in this situation, I'm just going to do very general, just put any colors that I feel, you know, comes to my mind right now. So, um, some yellows, and usually I try to keep the background a little bit lighter than the pouring paint, so I can add some contrast to it. So let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, so white, white, white used a lot. This paint was really, really quick So, um, so I'm using a lot of white. Okay, and I'm gonna get some of my towel. Towels go very quickly also because you need to clean up the mess as well as you need to um, do a lot of texturing. So what I do, I make towel a little bit wet. And I'm just holding it in my hand. And what I do, I just smear it off like that. So it depends, you know, sometimes I can do really thick backgrounds. I can use maybe some other mediums to add the thickness to it. Sometimes just a pure um, paint. So I just go ahead and just smear it off. And also it's interesting because you can make um, look like different shapes and forms even when you're smearing the paint. So you can add, you know, make it look like a, like a little landscape or something, like maybe sky, sea, or whatever it is. It's very interesting, you know. So I just need to experiment with it, and just, and again, the white, the white color is used quite a bit. So I put a little white on it. So hopefully this background is going to dry pretty quickly, and I like will be able to put some colors on it. I'm going to make it different thicknesses. And so I'm going to mix the paint. So again, I'm getting like this. You need to buy big gallons of paint to do that. With, with the little tubes, it's probably going to last you maybe one, two paintings. But if you're really thinking of doing a big one, you need to get a like, wholesale somewhere, really big can so you can use it. And not be afraid that you're wasting. It's pretty expensive. All right, so here we go with the yellow, the white, and I think maybe that's a bit. It keeps running, it keeps working by itself, it keeps painting by itself. So although you do do it, but the painting is on its own. So what can you do? But <laughs> <laughs> well, that would make it interesting. You never know what you're gonna get the next day. You wake up and oh, oh that's not what I wanted. Or the other way, oh that's exactly what I wanted, or oh that's much better. Okay, just in some areas, just to make some accent. You don't need too much. And it keeps mixing. Look how nice it is. It's okay. It's okay if it drops and here it makes it so much more interesting if you have little drops. You see little drops here, little drops there. They come in, they're dropping by itself, and I'm just happy about it. You know? I'm not saying, oh my gosh, it dropped in there. Oh, that's horrible. Let's just get it out of there. 
no, that's, that's, I like that. I like that. That's the part of the beginning. That's the part of the whole thing. Okay. Well, I don't put the I think I'm getting a little bit too much paint in here. Um, but I really think I'm going to stop because I'm going to keep a little bit of the background. Otherwise, I'm going to cover the whole background and you're not going to see the shapes on it. Okay, so, well, this is the basic technique of how I'm doing it. So it can be small scale, big scale, either scale. So that's what it is. Okay.